YouTube. What is up guys, welcome back to the Power Nine Quest. My name is Andy, and today we're doing something fun. Uh, I got a repack off of eBay, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's in it. I'm gonna let you guys experience this with me, and see if it was a terrible idea or a good idea on getting this. Um, but it is fun because a lot of these, like this one, get, you have a chance of getting an alpha or beta card, which would be awesome, even if it's a common. That's just fun. But I paid like 50 or 60, 60, 59.99 for this, okay? Which, rule of thumb, if you are in a situation where you can't afford to waste $60 on magic cards, don't. Don't do mystery packs. I, it's just not gonna be worth it in the long run, but I have had good luck with some in the past. I do it every once in a while because I think like, I was like, man, these are probably all scams. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna open this as like a skeptical consumer, okay? And I'm gonna let you guys be involved with this. So um, I do think they're fun. And I actually, the first one I ever did in my life, um, I got a pack of antiquities with it. Like everything came with a booster pack and I got a pack of antiquities and it was like like a $50 repack and I was like, whoa. And I pulled a strip mine out of it, it was awesome. Uh, but that's just not the normal, okay? So, and I, I just don't trust these that much. Um, but I do think they're fun. So every once in a while I'll get on eBay, it'll be like one o'clock in the morning and I'll be like, let's do a repack. And then it shows up at my house and I forgot I ordered it. That's what happened with this one. Um, so this was $59.99. Um, it has a little sticker on it. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just cut over. Let's, let's go to this camera and open it up and we'll talk some more. Okay, here it is. Uh, first off, this is the only thing that it came in. And there's no, it was, this is it. This is just in like a, this, just this plastic. So uh, immediately it makes me think there's nothing that valuable in this because I feel like they would put a good card in like a hard sleeve. Um, so I, I feel like this is gonna be a bummer, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wear it. we're gonna do it, okay? Um, also, I feel like no matter what, there's a bunch of rares in here on mythics and stuff. I feel like it should be in a better protection, but I'm not the one who sent this out, and it actually did get to me safe and sound. So, you know, there we go. USPS or whoever delivered this, you crushed it. Um, it does have this to try to prove. I'm guessing he did like some sort of video or proof that he sealed these up and the stickers aren't broken. But what's stopping him? I'm gonna be skeptical, okay? What's stopping him from getting duplicate stickers? You know? And like switching them out in the future if he like doesn't, if he hasn't made enough money to for his big cards to go out or at all, who knows? I'm sure some of these are super honest and some of them are just absolute scams. Um, but uh, yeah, I think there was like a time twister was one of the bigger cards. There might've been a Mox too. Um, I know there's a potential of getting an old card. And just by looking at these, is it this one? Yeah, this one, I don't know. I think I'm crazy. This one seems a little darker. The older cards seem darker to me. I don't know, I should know this. Oh, well, it looks like there's an unlimited card right there. Well, it's kind of annoying to open up because I'm gonna, all right. So I guess let's just flip them over. Yep, okay, cool. There we got a, a beta island. I myself have a ton of these, or else I would be super excited. I mean, I am excited. It's cool. It's a beta island. We're still psyched. But if that's my, that is, if that's probably my beta card, that would have been cool. And there's uncommons that I still need in beta, so that would have been really cool to get that. Um, all right. So, holy crimp. Bonus heavy crimp. Yeah. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. I've never had a card like that. Um, this is uh, Seda Sanctuary. That's Invasion, right? I don't have all the... I don't have all the sets memorized, but actually, I'm actually psyched on this. This is kind of, that's like a novelty to me. That's really cool. Okay. Um, let's flip this over. And, oh, 10. 2010, Sun Petal Grove. Sun Petal Grove enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a forest or planes. I love those dual lands. Those are my favorite dual lands. The ones that like can potentially come out and actually do their job right away. Um, and that's a good one. It's in good condition. I don't know. I don't know the value. I probably won't know the value of any of these, really, honestly, because I don't. I haven't paid attention. Here's our mythic, Janara Asura of War. Is that? That's not. Is that Kam Kamigawa? I don't remember. I have no idea. 2009, maybe. Uh, it's cool looking. She's cool looking. Um, ooh, there we go. Celestial Convergence, rare foil. Um, and maybe I will look up some of these values. Uh, another magic talk, Traumatize from Corset 2010. Oh, this looks a little haggard. I think that's the, the one that... Oh, wow, nice! Strip Mine! That's a fourth edition Strip Mine right there. I will never be bummed on those. All right, so this is pretty cool. Memory Lapse. Ooh, geez, from sixth edition? These are with foils. It just, look at the foil. The foils look so different now. 
I do like the shine on that. Memory lapse. That's a really cool artwork, too. Okay. Power Surge. Uh, is that... That looks a little thicker. That might be on... No. I don't know. I'll have to look. That's not unlimited. That's revised, right? It's like the... With... I don't know. I'll look at it. And... Jester's Mask. That's good. Or it used to be. When I when Ice Age was out, when I, when I remember it, it's probably come down in... Uh, you know what? I'm thinking about Jester's cap. That was the big one in that one. I'm an idiot. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. That's cool, though. Uh, oh, and then another one of those uh, Dual Lands from 2010. All right. You know what? These are all cool, usable cards. Like, I, I like these cards, but I'm going to run the numbers real fast, and let's see what the value was in compared to what I paid. Okay, so I ran the numbers, and this was totally not... Uh, invasion. I know what invasion looks like right now. I'm imagining it. This was apocalypse, um, and then the and then the beta island. Th these two I did not put into the CCG player app to to figure this out, but I did everything else. Um, this was totally not a Kamigawa set. That was a Lara Reborn, which I don't even I don't think I ever busted packs of that. And I put them all in, and this was totally unlimited. Power surge. Uh, I was right on the thicker lines. It's even worded differently. I looked at my revised set, and I was like, oh yeah, and I need this. Like I I got an unlimited card I need for my set, which is bonk. And you know, next time I open any unlimited, I'm gonna pull this and be like, wow, I don't even need that anymore. Okay, uh, but uh, yeah, the big hitters were definitely the strip mine and the power surge. Uh, that's really, really cool. Um, it totaled out without the Seda Sanctuary and the island, it totaled out to be about $50. And guys, I don't really know why I left out the Seda Sanctuary and the Beta Island because both those cards would have raised this price up further than $60. Uh, so I don't know what my brain was thinking at that moment, but take it for a grain of salt. I actually do think this pack was worth the buy. It was good. Uh, it, it, and you know, it crimp, the crimping's cool. I didn't. I just whatever that's worth to you or someone else. Let that that is what it is. Um, and then the Beta Island's really awesome. But everything else, I was like, all right, let's just see the real value. Um, and it's not bad. I honestly, I, I, before I opened this, I thought it would be way worse. Um, and I and I hope that whoever does these are like really thinks about it. And it, you know, if you got a lot of cool cards, you got the excitement of opening a mystery pack, and you only spent. You know, if you only lost ten dollars value, I feel like that's worth the risk on potentially getting one of the bigger and better cards if they actually hold up to their part of the deal and put the big cards in these repacks. Uh, so I'm actually kind of impressed. It's really cool. Uh, and I'm really excited that I busted a mystery pack from eBay and I got a, a card for my unlimited set. Um, but there you guys go. Uh, if you dig this, I'll do this every once in a while. Um, I know there are channels out there that do this sort of thing and I wasn't trying to copy them. I was just literally, I was about to sit down and film a different magic video uh, for this week and I realized that I, that came in the mail and I was like, oh, that'll be fun, let's do it. So uh, no intentions of just completely ripping off other channels. Uh, I just thought I could do my own spin on it and you guys might find it entertaining. Uh, either way, I do videos all the time. If you wanna see more video, if you wanna see more from me, hit the subscribe button and I'll be back. Uh, for my magic video next week, I have a beta starter coming, so it'll be exciting. Um, tune in, tune out, tune off. But have a good day and then tune off. Actually, it's beautiful outside today. Go, go do something outside. That's my advice. Also, goodbye. All right, there you go. Uh, let me know if you guys like that. That's my first eBay repack video, and I don't know if I'm going to do more. But if you want to see more card openings in general, hit the subscribe button right up there, and that'll sign you up to see more. And uh, that's it. I'm playing a dinosaur game on my cell phone because I'm a child.